give me a thumbs up. So, big bank tight, low bank. Big bank tight, low bank. Everything proper, no propaganda. Chop a count of gold yard bandana. Big sack, a lot of hoes like Santa. Hey guys, my name is Sharice. If you're new, if you're not new, thank you for clicking on another video. So today's video is going to be a first impression Friday. I'm going to be trying out the Makeup Revolution um, foundation stick and concealer. I feel like I'm the last person on earth to try these products. I really had no intentions at all on trying out the um, foundation stick, but my friends Taylor and Ruby are fucking bullies. And they basically harassed me into it and then i had a 30 percent off coupon so i was like yeah might as well a coupon and a gift card might as well just go ahead and appease these bitches <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> okay so um they both come in 18 shades the foundation stick is um nine dollars and it claims to be a fresh and dewy finish I have oily skin. I don't know why my friends want me to be greasy. Do you guys even love me? Mm, I don't think so. Um, and the concealer is $7 and it claims to be like ultra blendable. I think I've heard people compare this to the Shape Tape. What brand is that? I fucking have it. Yeah, the Tarte Shape Tape, I feel like I've heard people compare it to that, but say it's not as drying. So that would be interesting to see. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say. I have both of them in the shade 13. I don't know why. Well, for the foundation, it's because my, my friend Taylor, she I think is like the next shade up and I typically get a shade or two below her. And then I just grabbed a concealer, you guys. So I'm actually a little, a little scared. Um, my face is slightly darker than it usually is. Um, I just basically got over having like a rash all over my face and my neck. I had sun poisoning. I was not cute at all. I'll insert a picture. Yikes. So let's just, oh, no. What I'm not gonna do is this. I'm not gonna do that at all. Mm -mm. Um. So F13 is described as dark skin tone with warm undertone. Let's so if if you're not blind you can see that my face and neck are darker than um than like my chest and stuff but like I just I I can't do it. I'm looking at myself in in my phone. Um yeah. I'm gonna put on a different foundation and we'll still try the um concealer. I'm gonna have to get a different shade of this because I I was gonna like try to work this out but I really I don't want to so I'm gonna put on a different foundation I will be back okay so I ended up putting on the Maybelline super stay stick I do have a video um a first impression video of this on my channel somewhere if you want to watch it 
Let's get into the concealer. Like I said earlier, um, this is also in the shade 13. Oh, okay. So the applicator is kind of like the um, shape tape, but it's not like as fluffy. Let's see, maybe I should have gotten a lighter shade in this, maybe? Oh no. I should have gotten a darker shade in this. This is similar, I think, to the shade that I have in Shape Tape. I, maybe Shape Tape's lighter. Let's see. Hmm. And I typically don't even, oh, did I even specify? So the bigger, this swatch right here is the Makeup Revolution and then this other swatch swatch over here is the Shape Tape. So um, yeah, what I was saying was I don't really use this shade of concealer anymore. I prefer something that's more, that's like closer to my skin tone. Oh, it definitely has a smell to it that I'm not really enjoying. And this eye is starting to burn a little bit um but i'm wondering if it's burning not because of this particular product but because like my eye skin right there is super dry right now because of the um that rash that i had i had to i put on way more eye cream than usual um right there because my eyes oh days was dry these was dry i'm um also testing out the i keep wanting to say japanese the sonia kashuk um beauty sponge see how this is um ari did say that she didn't like this sponge she did leave me a comment saying um that the sponge sucks i can't remember why she said the sponge sucks though make sure you guys go subscribe to her channel <laughs> is this gonna be like the shape tape all over again oh my god no please blend please blend if you guys saw my shape tape first impression video oh my god those comments on that video were so annoying because i was like it won't blend but in the video, I literally said that it was my fault that I let the concealer sit on my face too long. And people were still like, you let the concealer sit on your face too long. I'm like, oh, okay. Thanks for re literally repeating what I said in the video. Cool. I just triggered myself by bringing that up. <laughs> okay. Like, it looks nice. And I like... I was gonna say I feel like it's just as dry as the shape tape but I feel like I can't really judge it since my under eyes are drier than usual and also I'm not using my usual sponge I should have used the Morphe sponge so I could really see what's happening This is the brush that I used for my foundation. The Real Techniques um, buffing something, right? Buffing brush. So I'm gonna set with the Laura Mercier um, powder and do the rest of my face and I will be back. All right, so I'm done with my face, y'all. I kind of regret doing my makeup today because my skin is still so dry that I don't know what to do. Like I'm used to my combination oily skin, not dry skin. So um, I obviously need a darker shade in the foundation and I think I might end up getting a darker shade in the concealer too. 
because I just don't really use concealers that light anymore. So yeah, I'm basically kind of like meh about these products. I'm definitely going to try them again. I don't have anything else to say, so yeah. If you've tried these products, let me know what you think about them down below. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up so more people can see. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.